Hello, I'm Sarah. I'm a practicing Christian and I have a genuine belief in God. Lately I've been praying for guidance and it's given me real conviction to be honest with myself and with all of you. I want to tell you the truth about me, so here goes. I'm not a girl, but nor am I a boy. I'm a trans girl. Some of you might know me from real life, others will know me from chat channels. I've really put this video together for my uh, Christian chat friends who have been like family to me for the past few years. So hello to all of you and I hope this video isn't too confronting. Okay, well I'd like to talk more about honesty. I feel that being honest has brought me love, grace, but also a lot of challenges. But still, the, the graces outweigh the challenges, so I feel I should try to stay as honest as I can to myself and to you. I'll start with being honest to myself. This all came to a head a few years ago when I went through my last big relationship breakup. I was still friends with my ex, um, a girl, for about six months after we split. We were quite into the burlesque show scene, and um, I went along to a couple of theme nights dressed as a girl. At that stage, it was just for a laugh. I wasn't expecting what came next. I discovered that I felt so much more comfortable in a female form than I ever had as a boy. After my ex and me grew apart, I began to investigate this a bit deeper. I started cross-dressing more and more uh, because it felt comfortable in a way that I couldn't quite put my finger on. Around this time, some more unexpected things started to happen to me. I felt a repressed female personality come into the surface. And at the same time, my long-term anxiety issues started to drop away. I started feeling more and more confident in myself. It was around this time that I joined a Christian chat channel. At this early stage, I was looking to explore my newfound female personality. And I was looking to see if there was anything behind it. This is when things started to snowball. Again, to my surprise, I found that people were convinced I was a girl on the basis of my conversation and personality. Some of you rightly picked me for not being a girl, and I'm sorry for rebuking you. I feel it was dishonest. I wasn't ready to be outed so early on, and I was protecting myself. After a lot of prayer and support from a handful of people who know the truth about me, I finally found the courage to be honest. And that's what this video was all about. Well, as time went on, I began feeling more and more in touch with my girl personality. And I felt confident enough to send out photos of myself all dolled up. Hardly anyone seemed to pick that I wasn't a girl which made me feel validated and even more confident. So over the past two years or so, I've been reflecting deeply on who I am now and who I have been throughout my life. I came to realise that since I was at least nine years old, I've been forming girl-boy relationships with other boys. I've always been the listener and the emotional counterpart in my relationships with other boys. And at the same time, I've been looking for uh, security, um, protection, confidence, all of those things in my male friends. I also realised that I've been looking for the same thing in my adult relationships with girls. I've been in three long-term relationships with girls, all of them very dominant, almost masculine in their personalities. 
none of these relationships worked out. I would find myself losing sexual interest after a short period, and then I would steadily grow more and more uncomfortable with my own world. Each of these girls eventually broke up with me, and yeah, they, they would often date someone a whole lot more masculine than me shortly afterward. Also, looking back, I realise I have been deeply in love with a number of straight men, straight, emotionally intelligent men, but I could never figure out what was going on. If it was as simple as me being a gay guy, I would have started dating other gay guys long ago. A few have approached me, but I just don't feel attracted to them the same way I do to sensitive straight guys. I actually find the stereotypical, uh, overly camp gay guy to be a bit of a turn off. So once my girl personality had truly come to the surface, everything fell into place. I realised that I was psychologically a girl. So this is when I realised I was finally being honest with myself. There's more to it though, and that's where being honest to you comes in. I'm starting medical treatment to become physically more female, and one day I hope to have a sex change. This is about reducing the conflict I feel about what I am, and trying to align my whole with my personality. But here's the important thing. Do I think that all of this will make me 100% female? No, I don't. I feel like it would be dishonest for me to say to you that I am a girl. And I feel that I would also be fooling myself. I feel bad for misleading my internet friends and I hope that you can understand and forgive me. Okay. So to explain a bit more about how it feels to be me, um, I'm not simply what I am at this present moment. I am, as we all are, all the things I have ever been leading up to the present moment. So if I'm going to be honest with myself as well as other people, I can only ever say that I am a trans girl. Even if I do go all the way and have a sex change. Now realising this has been a really good thing for me because it has resolved all of the remaining psychological conflict I was feeling. Well, I guess that's where I am now. I'm, I'm in a really good place. I feel comfortable, I feel happy, I feel confident, and I can't wait to live the rest of my life as me. I'm trying really hard to be honest about who and what I am to myself as well as to you. I think that being dishonest leads to conflict and confusion. I'm trying really hard to learn and to grow from the challenges I'm facing. And I'm so grateful to God for giving me the ability and the opportunities to do what I have to do. Well, if you made it this far through my talk, I want to thank you for listening. I hope you, especially my friends, can understand what I've needed to do. And I hope you still have room for me in your hearts. God bless.